Hello, hello, and welcome to Le Ebony Tarot. Is it Le Ebony Tarot? It's Le Ebony. <laughs> it's Le Ebony something. Today, I'm going to be doing a quick um, message, oracle message for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Um, so, I've just chosen... Well, I haven't chosen. I shuffled and prayed over the cards, guys. And the first card that came out today was creation. So I feel like what this is saying is that Libras, Geminis, and Aquariuses are going to be extremely creative at this time. Like, as we approach Sagittarius season, you're going to be feeling very empowered. If you are a creative or you are thinking about any creative endeavours or projects, just know that the world is your oyster. If you look at this card, she's got the world right there. And the world is in the centre of a lotus flower. So I feel like... The more self-love that you pour into yourself, the more love that you pour into your craft and into your work and the more passion that you harness through your hands, okay, especially if you're creative, you're going to create something magical, something wonderful. She's actually the goddess of the sun and the stars in the universe. So you're going to be creating something that I feel like is going to change your life. So whatever it is that you're thinking about doing, this is a sign that you need to do it. Just keep going and stay focused. And you see how at peace that she is? Her eyes are closed and she's trusting in herself. She's trusting the fact that she is powerful. So please, 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 please believe in yourself as we approach Sagittarius season, okay? And love yourself. Surround yourself with things that you love. That is very important also. So the next card that we have is... um this card here and i would feel to me this represents um it says appreciate the diversity of hair textures from a natural hair deck but what i would say is that this to me shows that you are going to be blossoming like very in alignment with this card you are going to be blossoming you are going to be shining people are going to appreciate the diversity of your talents i feel like you might be, um, when you're creative, you might create something that you didn't even realise that you were capable of doing. And so there's going to be so many different depths to you that you're going to be unleashing throughout this um, Sagittarius season. And please use this Sagittarius energy. Please, 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 because it's all about um, being very creative. Like, it's a very optimistic attitude and... You know, flowers to me as well represent beauty, it represents friendships, it represents ha happiness, celebration. So I feel like this will be the time that you're going to celebrate or whatever you're putting your work and your craft into, it's going to lead to celebration maybe in the future. But just continue. You might also be someone that um, crochets. So if you're feeling about crocheting, please do continue with that. Um, you may like flowers, look up the meanings as well, if there's any flowers that you're drawn to, please do look up the meanings, because there is a message in there for you, okay, and then again, as I was talking about Sagittarius season, a very sad looking card has come up, and it says vulnerability and freedom, and this is from the angels, and what they're saying to you is, yes, this is your time, be free, like Sagittarius season is all about, and Sagittarius is in general, they're all about being free. They're all about freedom, going forward to what they want, not like not complying or conforming to anything that restricts them, restricts their talents. So be vulnerable and be free and be you. And you see how massive her wings are and they're green. Green represents love. It represents renewal. It represents healing. Um... It represents wealth and it represents money. And she's got a star in her hand. So chase the stars, okay? With the, with the goddess here of the universe, of the sun and the stars. All these cards, I kind of feel like it's just saying, listen, use this energy to believe in yourself to trust in yourself that you are amazing. You can create your heart's desires. You are powerful manifestors. Whatever it is you're working on, it doesn't have to be creative. Whatever it is, believe that you can achieve it. But also be true to yourself. Be true to yourself and allow yourself to follow the path that you feel like you're guided to take. Don't take any criticism from anyone, the naysayers, whoever's not for whatever it is that you want to do. 
don't listen to them because your future is bright, okay? So, Libras, Geminis, and Aquariuses, we about to be lit. <laughs> oh, I am a Libra, Sun, Libra Moon, Leo Rising, and Virgo Venus. Um, so, yeah, I'm just saying, you know, <laughs> believe in yourself, okay? Also, I feel like um, people are going to find you very, very attractive. You might find that you're going to get a lot of compliments. People are just going to, like, see your beauty from the inside as well as the out. And you may actually become a star. Like, I feel like there is going to be a Libra, a Gemini, or Aquarius that may become very, very popular. Or they're destined to become popular. But you need to make sure that you're putting your love and your passion into whatever it is that you're working towards and allow yourself to freely go forward like go with the flow don't get wrapped up in people's opinions or if someone's trying to talk you out of it no free yourself from any negative thought and surround yourself in love self-love all of that things that you do love do what you love okay but yeah i feel like we're about to be lit we're about to be lit take care guys um if you like my videos please check out my other videos for the zodiacs um if you like my channel please like share comment and subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video